Update on the low income families who were forced out of their homes after Irma. They still can't live there, but now they're getting help with a catch. Local 10 News reporter Christian De La Rosa live in Miami to explain. Christian. Finally, some resolution for these families. This bus about to take them to what will be their new temporary home. But even now they're being met with another obstacle. Chaos and confusion outside of Miami's Civic Towers tonight. Dozens of people first forced to evacuate for Hurricane Irma. They were left homeless without power or water. Miami City officials saying the towers are unlivable. Many tenants refusing to go back to a shelter for 10 days now. They've been living on this parking lot, waiting to get back inside to get their belongings. Sulema Otero says all she has is this hospital gown and needs to pack her clothes. Quiero subir a recoger ropa porque estoy en pijama. New tonight, the building's owners finally fulfilling their responsibility, offering their renters an extended stay hotel and giving them the chance to be escorted by Miami City Police to collect items from their homes. But there's a catch. So you're afraid to sign the waiver? Yes, sir. They're being forced to sign this waiver before they can go back inside the towers. It releases the building's owners of all liability claims and suits before the towers are reopened. And I've been in contact as well with the building owner's rep. He tells me that there is no ETA on when these towers will be refurbished and reopened, but he says it could take several months. We're live in Miami. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.